This lost episode of SpongeBob SquarePants is far less innocent than the rest of the show. It's nothing you would expect from a Nickelodeon show. Blood, gore, and death. The Krusty Krab. The number one fast food restaurant in the underwater city of Bikini Bottom. Or at least it was. Little did anyone know that the Krusty Krab would become haunted after something went terribly wrong. One afternoon, Mr. Krab saw something old in the sand just outside of his front door. He then got a shovel and dug it up. It was a book. An ancient witch's demonic ritual book. Willing to do just about anything for money in order to save his restaurant, Mr. Krabs decided to read the book and go through one of the rituals. The Krusty Krab then became cursed. He sold people's souls in the restaurant to demonic forces in change for riches. Anyone who dies in the Krusty Krab's souls are doomed to become cursed with grief and anger. Without telling anyone else, Mr. Krabs told SpongeBob and Squidward, We've gotten a great outcome lately. One day, Plankton had a new plan. He's gotten so sick and tired of people foiling his plans, he made a robot to kill the Krusty Krab workers, so nobody can stop him from stealing the secret Krabby Patty formula. Meanwhile, Patrick and Sandy were visiting the Krusty Krab. But suddenly, Plankton's robot came in and killed all five of them off in brutal ways, one by one. Squidward got his head chopped off, Patrick was hung by his neck, Sandy got stabbed several times in the chest and got her throat sliced. SpongeBob had his skin melted off by a flamethrower. Mr. Krabs was the last to fall, the robot tore his limbs off and ripped his heart straight out of his chest. Plankton got away with stealing the formula, because of the demonic curse, instead of going to a heavenly paradise, their souls returned to their bodies, possessing them and bringing them back to life. All they wanted, was revenge on Plankton, because the only way to lift the curse was to defeat grief itself. After Plankton went back into the chum bucket, the demonic characters were right behind him. They then grabbed wires, and electrocuted him to death. They then mysteriously disappeared with the secret formula, leaving their dead bodies behind. It is unknown what happened to them. Many speculate that it's like that the curse was lifted and their spirits can finally rest.